Welcome everyone, my name is Jeroen, better known as Dutch Pond Fan and joining me for another movie reaction is my girlfriend Lirit. Hi! Today we are reacting to 1974's The Man with the Golden Gun, the second Roger Moore movie and the third movie of the 1970s. Um, you weren't that much of a fan of Live and Let Die previously, so Roger Moore did not have the best start for you. Um, I hope this one will. Anyway, did you enjoy Roger Moore as James Bond last time? Yes, I did. He did uh, slightly different than the other two. Right. So it's a new James Bond for me. But the hair is the same. If you are interested in the full length reaction of Lirit watching The Man with the Golden Gun, you can join me on my Patreon page and all premium supporters can see the full length reaction right over there. Um, so, shall we delve into the next Bond movie? Yes, I think that James Bond has a golden gun. Because I didn't know the title. Right, okay. Um, so you think Bond would have a golden gun in this uh, in this movie? Yeah, the man with the golden gun. So okay. I think he is going to get a golden gun. I see. Well, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not going to spoil anything to you. Um, but I am confident you will enjoy this more than the previous couple of movies. Okay, and I'm excited for the Bond girls. Oh yeah, you were hoping for more strong uh, female characters in this movie. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's the same. Oh no. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. It's more theatrical. Ah, oh, this is the Bond girl. Whoa, that's a small guy. Yeah. This is the bad guy. Did you see it? Yeah. Three nipples. Three nipples. That's so weird. You may recognize his face from a previous Bond movie, this guy. He was one of the gangsters in Diamonds Are Forever. The one oh, that threw yes. plenty yeah. out of the window. I didn't know there was a pool down there. Do you recognize the, the, the villain? No. It's Christopher Lee. Lord of the Rings that he's in, Star Wars, uh -huh. he was Dracula. This is weird. It's like a fun house. Yeah. This is training for him. <clears throat> for Monsieur or for him? For, for uh, uh, Monsieur Scaramanga. Everything is so old. <coughs> the computers and everything. Yeah, it's the 70s. You can't expect him to have an iMac. But uh, this is so big, his house. Yeah. Look at it. You see the, the puppet blinked. You can clearly see it's, it's a real guy. Yeah. I wonder where you can find your gun, Mr. Scaramanga. Oh, so James Bond doesn't have a golden gun. No, the man with the golden gun is him, Scaramanga. It's really a cool gun. It's made out of several everyday items and if you compose it together it becomes a gun. Mm. So like a, a, a cigarette case, a lighter, a pen and you can buy it as well as a prop now for Bond fans, the golden oh. gun. her name. <coughs> it's her artist name. I don't know the full name. Good 
morning, sir. That's an ugly suit. I don't like this suit. Hmm. Oh, they got a golden yeah, bullet. bullet. I mean, sir, who would pay a million dollars to have me killed? Jealous husbands, outraged chefs, humiliated tailors. <laughs> the list is endless. So the story is simple. Bonds. Yeah, the door yeah. is different. Do yeah. you see? It's still the letter, but it's now... It's red, red. with yeah. gold. Your dancing is superb. So are you. Merci. I don't know. She's French in Beirut. No. It is my lucky charm. I never dance without it. She's crazy. She's crazy. And how is she going to change the bullet for the... <gasps> he swallowed it! <laughs> Here you, you, you should be able to see the camera crew. There is a oh, mistake yeah. in, the, in the mirror. Hang Did you on. It? No, it's there. It is. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. Hairspray. I've lost my charm. Not from where I'm standing. Yeah, he swallowed it. Yeah, so now he needs to hotel, mister? get it out. No. The nearest pharmacy. <laughs> the nearest pharmacy. But just tell me where it was made and by whom. Why couldn't they just use the bullet that was sent to him to discover this? Like a doctor, priest with a penitent. Of course. He's going to aim that gun Get to make guns for I'm now aiming precisely at your groin. So speak of her ever hold your peace. Your piece, <laughs> you get it? One, two, three, four, five. That's old. <laughs> so, this is how Scaramanga gets his bullets. Oh, the girl. Yeah, his mistress. She doesn't know what the, how James Bond looked like? No. Shipwreck. On our left. Madam, would you be good enough to move this inverted bedpan? I'm sorry I'm late, Jim. This is the Bond girl. <laughs> she has a big mouth. Good night. Would I do that to you after two years? Her name is Good Night. Hmm? Her name is Good Night? Mm hmm. Merry Good Night. At least it's not Merry Christmas. I mean, there is a Bond girl named Christmas, too. Yes. Oh, it's a surprise. Oh, a surprise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the guy likes it. Oh, a surprise. But the story is more interesting this time, I think, than Live and Let Die. Do you agree? A water pistol. <laughs> Pass me that rope. A water pistol? Yes, I would shower also with a pistol. This suit is cool, though, question. don't you think? My arm. I'll break it unless you tell me where those bullets go. Oh, I can't. Try. Who knows? He may even use one of those little golden bullets on you. That would be a pity. Because they're very expensive. <laughs> so she's not expensive. <laughs> That's a nice bet. Yeah. I was just about to say so. That's the guy. It's Nick Knack. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Again in the head. Mm -hmm. So Bond wasn't a target. At the station. It's another kind of police. see your identity card. You will. He's from Scaramanga. They're going to the ship now. Welcome aboard, Commander Bond. And with current real estate prices in Hong Kong, quite practical, really. Any luck? Chinese fighter we managed to salvage. 
So he's just working with Bond, yes. not Scaramanga. His name is Hip. No and Hip is a moron. Where's the Solex now? Solex agitators. So Scaramanga had someone else um, on the hit list. You, you yeah, that. Gibson, the guy from the Embassy Crisis, yeah. Bond's original wish. So it so wasn't why, Bond. Why does on the golden bullet set 007? That's what we still need to find out. Bangkok. Yeah. I've been there. Of course you were. You've been everywhere. So this movie takes more place in Southeast Asia. Yeah. It's more exotic, I think, than North America, which we had in the previous movie. Mm -hmm. Here's a girl. Naked. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Tempting, Miss. Uh... Chew me. Really. <laughs> Well, there's only really? one small problem. <laughs> oh, Immediately. He's... I will have you. But it's the wrong side. Doesn't matter. They only know that he has three. British Secret Service 007 license to kill. He's good, <laughs> even by my standards. He's talking about himself. Yeah. Eat a dinner. He must have found me quite titillating. <laughs> But someone saw it. It's got a man guy himself. The real one, he has the edge on him. I'll drop the girls, come back here and hang around. <laughs> Why is he driving his nieces around? <clears throat> it's an alibi for him. That's scary, all those... Uh, Puppets, or how do you call it? Statues. Statues. Yeah. That's that, how do you call it? Those are real people. Yeah. Mr. Bond to school. He has to fight or? Yeah, it's a karate <laughs> school or kung fu, I don't know. Katanas. <laughs> you know, you never want to mess with Asians. <laughs> he's the strongest one. Yeah, he's wearing black, so he must be yeah, dangerous. Yeah, the black belt. <laughs> oh, in his throat. Yeah. This is fake. Do you hear that? Just sound effects that are dated. Yeah. They're still using sound effects today for fighting. Oh. Oh. Come on, ah. you're James Bond, right? Stand back, girls. <laughs> I called them teenage mutant ninja nieces in my yeah. uh, <laughs> in my. Review. Hey, to tell you. All, of, all of a sudden they can fight as well. Everyone fights in Asia. <laughs> this I never got. This I never got. You see the girls like, you're forgetting Bond. Because Hip is a moron. It's like he doesn't know that he's not in the car. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Pity lady, real elephant. Sixty baht. Elephant, real elephant. Sixty baht. 
I'll tell you what, Sonny, I'll give you 20,000 baht if you can make this heap go any faster. 20,000 baht! I'm afraid I have to owe you. Bloody tourists! 20,000 baht! Bloody tourists! I find him funnier in this movie always. <clears throat> I don't know. It's just he's so out of place here. He's like in holidays in <laughs> Bangkok. Like the most racist cop ever. I just gotta have me one of those cute little elephants. Elephant? They're Democrats, maybe. Democrat? Oh, do you get it? Republicans are the elephant. My head's out of them pajamas. <laughs> you wouldn't be late for work. <laughs> It's complete racism, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, he's just such a stupid character. He doesn't recognize him? He does. So he's playing the same yeah, character. Yeah, he's J.W. Pepper again. J.W.? J.W.? Where are you? I've been also on water in one of those boats. Yeah? So you recognize it a bit? A little bit. For me, I took you on as a junior partner to be an occasional convenience, nothing more. He's now I did building not his hire second. you to interfere yeah. him. It's very cool, right? But that is beside He's the point. He's going to kill him. Bond doesn't know you're in Bangkok. He's never seen you. <coughs> <coughs> and like the trigger is a cufflink for the suit. And now we can disassemble it. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's such a cool map. I'm the new chairman of the board. <laughs> he always did like that mausoleum. Put him in it. There she comes anyway. Mm -hmm. What made you change your mind? I'm weak. <laughs> So she has to lie on that bed, and he's going to get away. Miss Anders, I didn't recognize you with the clothes on. <laughs> Private bellboy. Scaramanga's in Bangkok. He was in Hong Kong too, but not after me. That she doesn't see. <laughs> yeah, he's just leaning on her like... <laughs> so now he has to sleep with the other one first. It's quite... It's... <laughs> Almost. How do you like that if I shove you in the closet? Of course I... not. Forgive me, darling. Your turn will come, I promise. <laughs> as soon as she brings me that... Ew. I'm wondering if he doesn't has a STD yet. Yeah. After all those women. Sorry I'm late. Bangkok traffic's worse than Piccadilly. Did you notice? What? Okay, you didn't. Did you bring it? She's dead. Yeah. But how is her head still up? It's like she's frozen to death. You won't find it in there, Mr. Bond. I looked before you came. I wouldn't do that either. She has a Gucci bag. <laughs> is it Gucci? Yes. How can you tell? She's going to die. She's going to follow him? Of course yeah. she is. She's blonde. <laughs> this is going wrong. She's going to hop on in the back of the car. She wants to place the, uh, the homer. Damn it, good night. <laughs> the keys, I haven't got them. Oh. <laughs> good night. Oh, I've got the keys. Oh, really stupid. Yeah. How about them some more? Certainly, sir. That's that same guy. Yeah. <clears throat> Back with JW. You're that secret agent. 
that angry secret agent from England. <laughs> there are a lot of stupid people, including James Bond in his movie. Yeah, especially in this period. Who you at this time, boy? Commies! Commies! Let's go get them! I'm with you all the way. It doesn't look like Bangkok at all. Hey, that looks familiar. The hey, temple. Alfa Romeo. I was not expecting that in Thailand. That's an Alfa Romeo, the white one. That's just a random car. Yeah. You're not thinking that. I sure am, boy. Oh, yes, I hear this. Shame, right? Yeah, uh, it's a slight whistle. If they only just kept it with cool music, it, the stunt is real. And it's a cool stunt, right? But it's so ruined by the sound. State Police, here's my identification. This is Law Enforcement Association, American Legion. It's like Thunderbirds. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. This is fake. It's cool, right? No. Why not? It's, it's not even car. real. <clears throat> I think we stopped. But she's in the air. She didn't know that. <laughs> if we ever visit Thailand, for you the second time, but I want to visit James <coughs> Bond Island. And my friends told me to go in the morning. Scaramanga's Island, it's called James Bond Island in real life now. Okay. It's still a tourist day to today. A Some of the locations. islands are not uh, allowed anymore eh? for tourists. No, I'm sure they aren't, but this one is because it's so famous from this movie. Look at how beautiful that island is. This is where it all started, right? Yeah, this is his island. Mm -hmm. You with such a gracious invitation. Splendid! 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 A solar energy station. Who's that guy over there? One of his workers. But he said he was only with the knickknack. And the help. Like his staff. Liquid helium would break it off like an icicle. You really know far more about it than I do, Mr. Hart. So he's going to die in there. Where's good night? Walking around on the island. Goes with the Solex. No extra charge. And half. Shook. Oh. I was uh, always you were expecting like a laser beam, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't see an That's actual. Why I call trouble. <laughs> That's why I call trouble. That kitchen is made for him. You see? It? Yeah, slow. Having fun in the sun, good night. Yes. I could stay here forever. Is she brainwashed or something? No, she's trying to signal to him that she's in danger, but Bond already knows. Sounds a bit old-fashioned, doesn't it? <laughs> Crystals at dawn, that sort of thing. But it still remains the only true test for gentlemen. However, I accept. As soon as I finish this delicious lunch that Nick Nack has prepared for us. <laughs> <laughs> if a good address is necessary, as your referee, I will not minister it myself. <laughs> then they have to walk. One, yeah. two, three, twenty! And if we stand on that beach, we will 
we will go stand like this running for a picture on Instagram oh in front God. of the mushroom shaped uh, rock. <laughs> You're right. Like back to back? Yes. I know what you mean. It would be cool, right? Monsieur, good shooting. I've never killed a midget before, but there can always be a first time. Oh, monsieur. I would have killed him on the spot. <laughs> oh, really? You would kill a midget? Yeah. You mean if you were Bond? He's going straight in the trap. He lost him. Where did he go? He's behind him? Here. Where is he, do you think? Here. Put on the suit of the statue. Yeah. Ah! But you oh. can't... It, 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 you overload the system if someone falls in there. His hand! Yeah. Kill the beast! She didn't felt that at all. There must be a scanner interlock bot money. Push it! Oh god. I'm so stupid. Yeah. Interlock is that it? Just push every damn button, will you? She's the secret service agent. I didn't say this one was going to have stronger female characters, but a lot of the Roger Moore movies do. Not the first two, though. He's going to make it. Good night! Get the hell out of there! I've got it! But how did he get out so quickly with the laser on? I don't know. <clears throat> Midget is already on the boat. Wow. How did they film this? A uh, model. Oh, okay. I think. The real rock is still there. Yes. They didn't destroy the island. But I think the midget is on the boat. Yeah? Yeah. Told you. <laughs> With. Ah, I knew it! Why didn't he just kill them when they were busy? Yeah, right. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, right. Good night. She's just coming, so. <laughs> James Bond is here. So we finished watching The Man with the Golden Gun. What did you think your first initial thoughts? The Golden Gun was from the bad guy. Right? Yeah, you noticed that in the opening immediately. Yeah. What did you think of the film? It was better than the last few. I agree. Yeah, I was, I was predicting that you would find it a little bit better. Um, anything more? Some of the scenes, uh, it was not women friendly. I agree. I can see. I can see your point on mm -hmm. that. Um, we'll get into that as we discuss the Bond girls. I imagine. Let's start with um, Bond's performance again. Roger Moore returning for the second time in the role of 007. What did you think of him? And what did you rate him? I gave him three stars. Three stars again, I think, right? Yes, 
just like the last time. I think so as well, yeah. Uh, talk about Roger more uh, similar to last time or different, what did you think? He did a pretty good job, uh, just like the last time, um, only more serious than the last time, I, right. from my point of view. Yeah, yeah I guess you could be right. Um, any examples of why, why you would think he was less funny or maybe some moments where you found him more serious? Um, no, his appearance, I don't know, with his lines it made more not funny. Hmm. <laughs> I find him hilarious in this movie. Oh really? But, but the first one I thought it was like he hilarious. Was more, he was more light-hearted maybe there. Yeah, there were lines, but not as many, many as the other one. Okay, well, you do make a point because uh, Roger Moore is criticized in this movie for being more out of character than in all his other Bond movies, especially the part where he he tries to get information out of Scaramanga's mistress and he starts to slap her around and hold her tight and stuff to really... Um, manhandle her so to speak uh, what did you think of that moment was he out of character was it out of character for Roger Moore's bond or because usually he would charm women into information uh, only Roger Moore or also the other ones well Connery does this more but Connery does it in a more likable way it just doesn't suit Roger Moore I guess so um, it's not really his style, then again you don't really know his style yet. No, but this is only the second movie for me. Yeah. But um, she chose to be at the bad side of... She chose to be at the villain side. Right, so it was so, her own risks, so to yeah. speak. For me this was light, because I saw movies where they got tortured and everything. So. Of course, yeah, no, it's not like... Uh, like PG rated violence, but it's um, a bit out of character for some. Mm -hmm. um, but okay, fair enough. Three stars for Roger Moore. Yeah. Moving on to those moments you were talking about that were a bit female unfriendly, I guess, because we're about to talk about the Bond girls. Mainly, Mary Goodnight and Andrea Andres were in this movie, Mary Goodnight being the main one. <clears throat> what did you rate the Bond girls? One star. One star. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the same so far as Live and Let Die. Uh, tell us so, about it. So sad. Because she was a pretty blonde girl. So sad. She had a small, small blonde girl yeah. role. I yeah. Think. And she wasn't the most intelligent Bond girl that we've no, seen so No, and far. she was a secret service agent. Yeah, that's the shame. Like, how? Yeah, and she just keeps uh, mucking things up. But I think she's really written that way, because, you know, she ends up in the boot in Scaramanga's car. She presses the button with her, yes, with her but button. Yes, but M said, well, you, you have to work together with another agent. So she has, an, she has also other uh, like assignments, which she has to do all alone. Yeah. Just like Bond, and I don't know. I can't put my finger on her. So not again, once again, not one of your favorite Bond girls. Uh, any comments on the other one, maybe or? These two are the most, I don't know, um, just like the other two movies, I think. Yeah, yeah. Not, not really standing out for you yet, these girls. Uh, you should remember the actress that played Scaramanga's mistress for a future Bond movie. For a future one? Yeah. Okay. The actress. I already saw that movie? Or? No, okay. no, we still need to see that. Yeah. Um, so keep that in mind for a couple of movies ahead. Yeah. Um, moving on. I so think sad because if they just wrote her like smarter or anything, yeah. 
So you're hoping for a smarter no, uh, if type they just, and more stronger secret no, agent No, if they next just time? wrote the blonde one smarter than this, they wrote her like a, a dumb bimbo. Yeah. No, I agree. It's uh, Why? She helped him yeah. kill that guy and he was just mad about it. And, uh, <laughs> because the place was going to explode. Yes, so? So? You wanted to do that, right? Yeah. But they still needed the Solex to get out of there quickly. But um, <clears throat> I agree, and hopefully in the next one, I'm, no, I'm certain, that will finally pleasantly surprise you on the Bond Girl front, the next one. I hope so. Oh, I'm, I'm positive on that one. Um, moving on to the Bond villains of yeah. this movie. The man with the golden gun himself, Scaramanga, yeah. and also another villain... Uh, reoccurring in this movie was a uh, knickknack. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about the villains. Three stars. Oh, okay, only three for the man with the go. Okay. Yeah, that was a lot for me. <laughs> okay, so what did you think of Christopher Lee playing Scaramanga? He had the looks of a villain for me. Yeah. So that's He's always one. a villain. If, if he had a scar, I would give him five. Oh, oh, he just needed the scar. Yeah. But wouldn't he, he be scary. too similar to Blofeld then? Maybe? No. Hmm. Of no. course not. No. And he played the part right. Because I hated his guts. With his little man. <laughs> yeah, you weren't the biggest fan of him. No. Nope. So Nick then funny. he did a pretty good job. <laughs> yeah, okay. And what did you think of his signature weapon, the golden gun? Yes, That's the cool, golden right? gun. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. The golden gun. So you wouldn't mind if I buy a replica one day, so I can assemble, put in like a, put in like well, a display closet. Well, it's not real, closet. right? No, of course not. Okay, then it's fine. Okay, so three <laughs> stars for uh, our main villain. Uh, moving on to the locations in this movie. What did you think? Three stars. Three stars again. Yeah. What did you think? Uh, Bangkok, I think Japan or uh, China? China, yeah. Macau for briefly only, but m the main part indeed was all Southeast Asia. Like. Yeah, I've been there also. Of course. How many times have you guys heard her say that yeah, throughout these movies? I've been there. I mean, this is what you get when you date a stewardess. Um, but, um, yeah. What did, uh, what, what did you think of the uh, locations themselves? How did, how did you do? Was it portrayed well or what did you think? Some, they were beautiful, yes. They, they filmed it well. I hope it was real. Oh. Otherwise, they did a pretty good job. <laughs> And what about the island of Scaramanga? What did, because that's my favorite, mm -hmm. most memorable location of this movie. The, the island. Well, I want because it was at, in Bangkok, right? It's, there, yeah, it's like a, it's in the sea underneath the Thailand. It's not necessarily yes, near Bangkok. Yes, because I remember the mountains because I wanted also to go there when I was on vacation there with my uh, girlfriends. But it was a pretty bad weather so we couldn't go I don't know what the mountains were called but yeah it was pretty 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 yes it was very pretty mm. and the sea was also light so blue. you wouldn't mind going to James Bond Island one day if we ever are allowed and get the money to actually go there <laughs> No, I That would don't be cool, mind. right? Yes. The, the tip I always see is if you are ever there, and mm -hmm. also for the people watching, and I've only heard this, go in the early morning. That's the tip I always hear, because if you go during well, the day, it's, just... the island is filled with tourists. <coughs> Moving on to the story. What did you think? Three stars. Three stars, again. Okay. Yeah. Um, what did you think of this story? Um, it was a pretty good one, um, after the other two stories. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's what I was hoping you would say. Yeah. Because um, I, I feel the same way. A lot of people find Live and Let Die better than The Man with the Golden Gun. Because uh -huh. they're both similar, the same director and stuff, similar times. Uh, 
I prefer this one over Live and Let Die a lot because this story is just, uh, I don't like the voodoo stuff too much and this is more basic, world's but best secret agent world mm -hmm. versus uh, world's greatest assassin. But I don't know what Mr. Hit or what's his name? Uh, something with the H. Hip? Hip! Yeah. What his role was. A lieutenant that helped Bond and then he just disappeared. I mean, we don't even hear what happened to him in the end at all. No. And I, I didn't get that part where he just drives off with his nieces. <laughs> Hip is a moron. I, I kept saying that in my review. <laughs> yeah. Um, anything else about the story that you enjoyed? What did you think of the, the whole aspect of Scaramanga having an island and uh, training there to kill random people? Well, a lot of uh, James Bond's uh, enemies, a lot of James Bond enemies has a known mountain, a known island. Yeah, there's always so the villain So they have layer. a lot of there's money. There's always the villain layer. Yeah. <laughs> They have a lot, a lot of money. <laughs> you're you're going to see a lot more a lot more of that in the, the future Roger Moore movies. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Uh, but a lot of money. When they can buy a mountain or they can buy an island. Yeah, but they, he, he bought two islands. Yeah, but this assassin, he charged a million for each hit. Yeah, okay. So each time he killed someone, he got a million dollars. Which was a lot in that, in that time. So. Yeah. Um, that explains a lot, I guess. Um, moving on to your final bit, the enjoyment. Yeah. How did you enjoy this movie? Two stars. Two stars, yes. that's a shame. What did you give Live and Let Die previously? Oh, uh, one. One star. So okay, so it's more, more than Live and Let Die. <laughs> so you enjoyed this twice as much. Um, tell us about your enjoyment about this film. And how maybe you didn't? Well, uh, because they uh, wrote the Bond girls like dumb, it was funny. And some of uh, Bond's lines were also funny. Um, you find it funny that the girls were dumb? Just now you said you didn't find it funny. Well, now if you look at it, um, the film is, I don't know, it's its bad that it's funny. It makes it funny. That's why it's yeah. so, it's bad. It's a fun type of campiness, like a fun type of um, tackiness compared to the, the previous two, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, the, it's the light-hearted 70s, it still is. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's a completely different tone to the 60s, right? Yeah. But... Uh, yeah, there is more humor and it's funnier. I also find, I don't know if you agree, J.W. Pepper is funnier in this than yes. the, the other one. <laughs> that uh, police lieutenant from Louisiana. Yeah. Yeah. I think he has something in his mouth. Or... Yeah, it's like tobacco he chews on. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's funnier in this one. Um... Even though he's completely out of place here yes, in Thailand. Yes, he's on vacation, I think. Yeah, with his wife. Like, he, he, Why would a racist cop visit Thailand of all places? But oh well. Um, it, is, it is funnier. So overall, unless you still have something you want to mention before we round this off. Anything else? Do you? Do you want no, to ask me something? Your review? Um, yeah, one more thing. Okay. The stunt with the slide whistle. Oh. Do you agree that without the the sound, <laughs> it, it's an impressive stunt? It really is. If they did like the James Bond tune on it, yeah. That would have been better, right? Yeah. So that brings your total score of the man with the golden gun to two and a half stars. Um, and previously, Live and Let Die, you gave two stars, so it's a bit above Live and Let Die. Do you agree with that? Yes, except uh, uh, like what they did with the women, it was a step down. That was a step down, but overall, it was a step up. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, speaking of stepping up, I think the next one will give you three or four steps up. Uh, and I'm willing to predict your next score will definitely be around three and a half or four stars again. Because we're about to watch a classic again next time. At least in my opinion, of course. You still have to watch it. But it's like yes. Roger Moore's Goldfinger. It's the, the big classic Bond movies of the 70s. Coming next time in The Spy Who Loved Me, the next movie reaction. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care.